Hey everybody, it's Big Daddy Taz. You know, living with ADD when I was a kid, uh, attention deficit disorder, uh, I guess we're talking about, the uh, fact was that it was a blessing and a curse, really. The blessing part was that I could escape in my mind anytime I wanted to, uh, pretty much anywhere I was. Uh, the cursed part was that I, I would often do it at school, and I spent a lot of time in the hallways. A lot, a lot, a lot of time in the hallways. Way, proportionally, probably more time in the hallway than I did in the actual classroom. But, uh, and it wasn't for the reasons that the teachers um, thought. I wasn't being disrespectful. I wasn't trying to be uh, ignorant. I wasn't trying to be a showboat. I wasn't trying to be any of that. I just got really bored very quickly and and uh, had to, I, I just had no filter. I, I said whatever came out of my mouth and my, my body did whatever it wanted to do and, and uh, getting the laughs uh, was actually kind of a bonus. But I remember uh, doing something in the class that I don't remember what it was, but I know it was hilarious. I thought it was so funny. And my teacher, uh, Mrs. Gradish, yeah, not so much. So she sent me off to the principal's office. And, and our principal was a big, formidable guy. He was a scary fella. Mr. Cook was his name. And I, uh, sitting in the all too soft uh, principal's chair, sinking slowly, uh, both of spirit and, and physically, into that chair. And he comes in and he sits down and uh, he leans over the desk and he says, uh, "You have trouble, uh, trouble paying attention." He goes, "Tim, this is a, this is becoming a problem. You can't pay attention. I, you, you get bored easily." And 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 I said, "Yeah, that's, yeah." And I was terrified. I was so scared and really ashamed. I was ashamed that it got to the point where. You know, I was in the principal's office. Uh, side note, uh, one of many, 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 many uh, times in the principal's office. But Mr. Cook leaned forward and he says, uh, yeah, me too. I think you have something called attention deficit disorder. And um, that was it. I had an ally and I had a name for what it was and it wasn't just me. And finally, I had somebody to see me for who I was instead of what I was. And Mr. Cook, uh, I appreciate that very much. You uh, took the first step into teaching me uh, to love and embrace uh, my diagnosis and who I am. So, Mr. Cook, lots of love.